Hello, I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want, and I just saw the re-release of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace in 3D. And yeah, do I even need to explain what kind of why this movie is bad? I mean, everybody talks about how bad it is. Everyone just... It seems like nobody likes this movie at all. It just constantly gets ripped apart, ripped to shreds. And yet, when I saw it in the theater, there were a lot of people in the theater. The theater was almost full. So, yeah, do you like the movie or do you hate it? What? what? Make, up your make up your minds, people. But anyway, how do, how do I feel about the movie? Well, I'll just, do, I'll just go detail by detail. Let's start off with the characters. Well... What's the pro- gee, what could possibly be the problem with the characters? Well, Jar Jar Binks is in this movie. Yeah. Do I- Does I even need to go into more detail than that? He's annoying. He's constantly annoying. He does next to not- the, He is one of the worst characters in any movie ever. He's annoying. He never shuts up. He doesn't- He doesn't help at all. He just- I don't- I've, I don't know who came up with this character, but they messed up royally. I just hate him. I- but everybody hates him. The rest of the the rest of the characters, well, Liam Neeson did did okay, as did Awen McGregor as Obi Wan. The kid who played Anakin Skywalker, he was terrible. Okay, he's what that he's the most one of the blandest kid characters I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, the other characters, well, the guy who did Yoda, okay, did okay, but he's not in it for very long and. Darth Maul also did okay, but again, he's not in it for very long, and he doesn't get a lot of dialogue. The guy who played the vi the villain was pretty did o did pretty okay, and kid the girl played Padme. I think it's Natalie Portman. She did, eh? She was o okay, but she gets she does better in the sequels. The basically everything gets approved on in the next two move in the next two movies. So yeah, let's keep going. The story doesn't make much sense. I'm gonna say right off the bat they have to stop this trade federation or something from causing an invasion, but they need the, the approval even though they need... I, 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 I don't get it either. I don't... There's a lot of pointless plot lines in this movie especially. It just keeps... It's, parts of it, it just brings to a grinding halt. It just stops. Ha and it just keeps going. There's scenes that mean nothing. There's this the plot lines that take forever to get developed. It, uh, it's just too slow. The pacing in this movie is terrible. It, which brings me to my next point. The editing in this movie is obnoxious. I'm I'm kidding. I mean, like every transition. I don't mean every a few transitions or a few dozen transitions. Every single transition in this movie is some kind of wipe. I mean, like you know that hor that diagonal wipe, that weird clockwise wipe, or or sideways wipe like this. I uh, it's just so distracting. Like what the hell? What? Do what, are there no jump, what, were there no jump cuts in 1999 when this movie was made? I mean, it's just so distracting. I'm sorry, but it just really annoys me. At least it annoyed me. I can't speak for the rest of you, but jeez, was that distracting for me. Wow. Yeah, well, okay, for all my whining and mo bitching and moaning about this, is the mo how, why did I go see this movie? Well, I'll bring it... I'll bring it up. The only reason I wanted to see this movie because it was in 3D. I wanted to see what they would do with 3D, and let me tell you, it was damn, was it cool? It, the the 3D was incredible. It really was. It, everything pops out. You would, of course, there during the talky moments with all that crappy dialogue. It's not impressive at all. But during the action sequences, even if they do take forever, like that stupid odd racing scene, which just keeps going and going, it still was pretty cool in 3D. I loved it. I love to see it in 3D. I loved how it, everything flew at you. The lightsaber duels, the starship battles, all that was cool. Cool, especially in 3D, that, which makes this movie more than worth seeing. See it just if only for the 3D. Even if you, if you hate all the dialogue and the story, just like, just like I do it, it just, like it, style over substance, that's the key, that's the term I'm looking for. Style over substance. Is it a good movie? No, but it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Like, just for the action scene, which isn't the up, uh, and the, the effects, which are just the general effects and sets are cool, but at times they can be a little silly looking, like like that Queen character's outfits. God, were those distracting, like these ridiculous haircuts of these extravagant dresses. They were just, they looked really silly, but other than that, the effects were incre were really incre were really incredible. Lots of eye candy, It's and like I said, it's style over substance. It, it's not a good movie, but you might have some, you probably have some fun just from looking at it. 
so yeah, the 3D makes it more, like I said, the 3D makes it more than we're seeing, and it's probably gonna, and I am looking forward to seeing the rest of them in 3D, especially, especially 2 and 3, which are a lot better. Yeah, trust me, 2 and 3 are gonna be so much better, they're just, every, for what, everything, 2 and 3 are gonna be awesome, even more awesome, especially with the 3D aspect, so yeah. Phantom Menace 3D is, eh, it's worth checking out. The action is, like I said, the 3D is cool, the action is cool, the effects are cool, everything else is garbage, but the effects are more than enough. Stop, remember, style over substance. I'm the universal critic, I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want.